Hello, I'm in Colombia, Medellin. My name is Carlos Cadena. I did my PhD at UNU Merit, graduated six years ago. I've also had the privilege to teach the science communications workshops, which in turn, and I currently serve as the transport secretary in the city of Medellin. The reason why I am recording this video is because I was one of the very few initial uh, citizens of Colombia that tested positive for coronavirus. This, of course, um, prompted lots of questions, fears, not very many answers. Uh, fortunately, uh, 20 days later, I was uh, able to do away with the virus and I have now tested negative. I have a couple of ideas for you on this World Health Day workshop. First off, uh, what I initially did is uh, as soon as I felt uh, cough, fever, I self-isolated myself. Uh, it, this corresponds to the recommendations of the medical personnel all over the world. And also this had to do with the fact that I was able to take care of my family and my close circle of collaborators. Mm, my body was able to react quickly and um, I think in my case particularly, uh, yoga, vegetarian diet, and uh, the fact that I am an active cyclist did help in reacting to the virus. I am not a medical specialist, but I definitely recommend from my perspective that uh, meditation, yoga, uh, breathing helped a lot. I continue to do it today as I continue with my recovery. It helps both with our minds, but also with our lungs. We have probably never seen such a global pandemic. We are in this together and we will prevail, but we definitely must focus on being optimistic about it, on avoiding panic, and in uh, trying to maintain united, trying to help each other, the power of compassion will be at the very end of uh, the key to dealing with this crisis. Uh, lastly, I'd like to share a couple of thoughts about what this crisis brings for humanity. After this pandemic, we cannot be the same people we were before entering. That applies to myself in reinventing my dreams, my objectives, both in terms of my personal ideas, but also my professional ideas. But it also applies to our society and our cities. It definitely applies to humanity. The crisis that we're dealing with today must be a step towards solving the major climate change crisis that we're dealing with and the major inequity crisis that our world has been dealing with for a while. I hope you have a very productive World Health Day workshop and I'm happy to answer any questions, suggestions, ideas via Twitter or email. Goodbye.